Hi, I'm Kim Green and I am a professional makeup artist. I work primarily in film and television. Today I'm here to talk to you about dermaflage. So this is my friend Sinclair and she's going to be our model today. Hi. And this product is amazing for me, especially in the film business, when an actor sits in my chair and they happen to have a scar or a deep wrinkle. Um, and they're like, oh, it's okay, don't worry about it because I need to fill it or I need to hide it in some way. I always say, well, you know, if you're on a movie screen, it's your head the size of a bus. So it's really important, I usually get a giggle at that point, <laughs> but it's really important that those features, those scars and those kind of imperfections are filled and aren't showing for the audience. In the old days, to fill in any kind of imperfections that we've been discussing, I would have to use something like mortician's wax. And yes, uh, morticians use this wax to fill in for dead bodies, to make them look good. Well, dead bodies are cold and human beings are warm. So wax is not the greatest choice because it will move. Now what's great about Dermaflage is that Dermaflage is a silicone based product. It's got two sides. So when the two A and B are put together, it starts out sort of like a honey texture. And then as it hardens, it will, it hardens not completely, just enough so that it will bend with the skin. It's very translucent and looks like skin. You'll see it's actually really amazing and I'm just personally very grateful this product exists for me in the film and television industry. Okay, so these are the colors that Dermaflage comes in at this point, all right, and it's a whole you know, a whole slew of different colors. And I personally have all of these colors in my kit because I don't know who's gonna come in the trailer and sit in my chair. Um, I get people from every ethnic group and I need to be prepared in case they need some dermaflage. So Sinclair, um, when we go through this and we look, now you're not gonna have this, but I'm just gonna show you. She's about a light tan. Okay, so there's a couple of things going on here. We've got some um, acne scarring. Hers are very light, but she does have a few little areas here. Um, do a little bit of a crease for me. She does have them look straight now. After she, you can see a little bit of a crease right there. Um, this has already been filled in on this side. This is the one we're gonna talk about because it's a, it's a nice scar right here and we're gonna fill that in today. So this, Dermaflash has a primer, and I like using the primer before I apply. It will make the product stay on even longer. So um, I'm going to put the primer right here, right where the scar is, and I'm also going to a little bit around on the outside of it as well. It's that simple. All right, I've just, I have determined that Sinclair's uh, color is light tan. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze this directly onto the palette. You don't need very much. Okay, then I'm going to take, here's the uh, spatula. There's two sides to it. I'm going to go ahead and use the smaller side and I'm going to mix it together. Okay, and then I'm going to very quickly go up and do that. Right where it is, then I'm going to go in and blend. Now I kind of need a little bit more. Okay, and then the next step is we take this pad, it's got pores, and I'm going to put that over there and hold it for about 30 seconds. You want to get the pad on uh, fairly quickly because while the product is still slightly wet and that's going to help to create these little pores so it looks more like skin and um, to make it a matter looking product. I like to roll it slightly and make sure that my edges are good and then I go, oh, they are. And there you go, there's no line there anymore. Okay, so when you want to get it off, you just peel it right off. And see how you can see that, see it again? 